after seeing this movie, now I've got the song Uptown Girl stuck in my head. Uptown. No! Uptown Girl. What is up everybody? Rana Random Man here, bringing you my review for Trainwreck, which stars Amy Schumer, Bill Hader, Tilda Swinton, Brie Larson, Colin Quinn, Vanessa Bayer, John Cena, and LeBron James, and it's directed by Judd Apatow. Now the plot follows Amy Townsend, played by Amy Schumer, a writer at a men's magazine who was told from a very young age from her father, Gordon, played by Colin Quinn, that monogamy isn't realistic. That is, until she is hired to write an article about a leading sports doctor, Aaron Connors, played by Bill Hader, and she suddenly falls in love with him. I know this review is for a movie that was released about a week ago, but I really wanted to see this movie still, even after seeing a bunch of movies recently. And I really liked how the ensemble cast looked, and Judd Apatow is a director I really like, and I've enjoyed some of his past work, such as The 40 Year Old Version and Knocked Up. Both movies he's directed, and I really wanted to see what he would do with his latest comedy. Now before I go on, I just want to briefly address the horrible, horrible news that occurred recently about a shooting in a Louisiana movie theater during the screening of this film. And it's just tragic to hear that these people were just trying to watch a movie and someone just had to ruin it for them. So my thoughts and condolences are with the affected friends and family. But how was Trainwreck? Let's run down the whole thing. Amy Schumer really surprised me in this movie. I've never seen much of her in the past. I know she has a show on Comedy Central, but I think she's a real comedic star in the making for film. She also wrote this movie, which I'll get more into when I talk about the plot, but she is actually a pretty likable character here. You're not supposed to like this character at first because, to put it bluntly, she's a big slut, but I will say, a lot of lines she delivers are just really funny, a lot of jokes really came out of left field and are not just geared toward females, but males in general. So I think that Schumer really is a star to look out for, and she's just pretty funny. Bill Hader is the other lead in this movie, and it's it's quite weird to see him play more of a straight man character, because in the past I've seen him play really outlandish, silly, and just all around goofy characters, but he actually fits the bill pretty nicely as just this regular guy, he's a sports doctor, and Amy Schumer's character just so happens to fall in love with him. So for that, I really enjoy Bill Hader and Amy Schumer here. We also have other players here in this huge ensemble cast. Brie Larson, who by the way, I think is one of the most highly underrated actresses working in Hollywood today. She's gorgeous. I think she has a very nice screen presence whenever she's in a movie. She does a very good job here playing a supporting role where she is Amy Schumer's younger married sister. I really enjoyed her here. Colin Quinn, <laughs> he fits the bill perfectly as this grouchy father of Amy Schumer and Brie Larson's characters. <laughs> he was just pretty funny with some lines that he did have in this film. Um, Vanessa Bayer, she got to me at times playing Amy Schumer's uh, weird co-worker as she's a bit socially awkward and you can very much tell that, but I enjoyed her for what she was worth. John Cena, now this is just weird seeing this guy. He's a professional wrestler and he's just one of the... <laughs> If I've had a loss for words here, I just think that he's just really, really funny. I think that when he has some scenes here, he delivers some comedic gold in my opinion. I think that since he's trying to act a lot more these days, if he fits in the right movie, he does pretty well. And we also have LeBron James. Now, as good as he plays basketball in real life, he is also excellent in delivering comedy. He is the comedic gem in this movie. I think that he really brought something playing himself and really, really stunned me in how he is self-referential towards his own real-life persona, but also brings a lot in a supporting role where he's also best buds with Bill Hader's character. So this ensemble cast really, really surprised me. There are a bunch of other people that pop up in this movie too, but for the time being, I think this is one of the best casts I've seen all year, comedy or not. For a comedy, this movie is written cleverly well to my surprise. Amy Schumer does a fantastic job once again in front of the camera as our main star, but she does an even better job behind the camera writing this movie. The jokes that she has set up for her own character because she is such a huge train wreck as the movie suggests are just 
so hilarious that even as they run along throughout the film, I was still finding myself laughing at them. She also has really sweet dialogue interlaced with other characters, and I just think that some moments that she does set up here are very sweet. Now, did I mention that this movie is a comedy? Yeah, I have. And what do you come to a comedy for? To laugh and... <laughs> <laughs> I'll say this, I haven't laughed this much or this hard in any movie <laughs> in recent memory. I haven't laughed so much in a very long time. This is without a doubt the funniest movie I have seen in theaters as of this moment. Wow. This movie is hilarious, hysterical, gut-busting, humorous, whatever you can describe it, this movie is that. Again, the acting and the writing coupled together with the sweet moments that it does have in between are really no match for how how much you'll laugh in this movie. You are gonna have to prepare yourself for some truly, truly hilarious jokes. My audience around me definitely agreed with me. This movie made us howl, roar with some genuine laughs that if this movie really succeeds at one thing, the most successful thing that this movie does is make us laugh. And that's what a comedy is supposed to do. Now there is one glaring issue I do have with this film and it's that it's a little long. Judd Apatow has had a habit of making his directorial efforts a little longer than they're supposed to be, especially since they're comedies, but if this movie was cut down by about 10 to 15 minutes, it still would have delivered the same amount of laughs in my opinion. But that's really not that big of an issue. Whatever Judd Apatow was doing for these kind of films with a very great script and just how he directs this movie, I, I don't think that comedic directors have enough credit than, that they're supposed to be deserving of because not only does he make this movie really funny, but it looks nice. New York City is really well shot and I think that this movie is very eye-catching, not only because it's really funny, but just because it's a very well shot film. And I think whatever he is doing and everything that comes together with this film, it truly is a comedic gem. My final thoughts on this movie are that Amy Schumer and Bill Hader are fantastic together. They have really nice chemistry and are just hilarious themselves. The rest of the ensemble cast truly delivers some nice performances. The writing from Amy Schumer is cleverly just pulled off and truly hilarious whenever she brings out her character and the rest of the movie in general. The movie is certainly the funniest film I've seen in a very long time. I haven't had so much time laughing it up in such a long time for a comedy. And I think Judd Apatow has succeeded once again. I think that this movie is certainly his best one since Knocked Up. And I think he is one of the smartest guys in Hollywood. This movie really does succeed at making us laugh. And I'll say this, I haven't laughed so much or this hard in a movie in theaters since I saw The Wolf of Wall Street for the first time. And that was one of my favorite movies of 2013. And on that note, yes. Trainwreck is now one of my favorite movies of 2015. It's certainly the best straight-up comedy I've seen all year, and I just simply love it for what it does truly, truly well. I highly recommend this movie. My final verdict for Trainwreck is four and a half out of five stars. Thank you all, as always, for watching. Be sure to like this video, comment on what you thought of Trainwreck, subscribe to my channel for more, and I'll catch you on the next movie review.